Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. And uh, I want to thank Steve Robb for suggesting the use of uh, glass beads instead of Black Beauty. Uh, it does work a lot better with glass beads, but this dang thing leaks everywhere around the top. So, made quite a mess. This stuff's like powdered. Of course, I'm wearing a respirator. I decided I'd put this tape around it. That helped a lot, but I think I'm going to get some of that uh, foam window tape and really insulate around these edges. I didn't put a whole lot in here because I didn't know how it was going to do. <clears throat> but uh, so far it's done pretty good. Uh, I really I really like uh, how it's doing, but I need a, a way of getting the the dust out. Uh, tried to shop back, but that just didn't that didn't do it. Ended up just stopping the filter up with it. So uh, yeah. Anyway, I got a lot done. Got the old gas filler door. Yeah, I had to take my two-inch row lock and get those little adhesive pieces off. That glass bead just don't go through uh, anything but paint, really. Uh, but it did pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with it. You can see it left that sticker. It wouldn't cut through the sticker. I'll have to get that off with a little heat gun. And I got the uh, hood latch done. And... It would not, this stuff in here on these, on the grill trim pieces was actually a vinyl sticker that had cracked. So it would not take it off. I ended up using, uh, I used the, where did it go? Oh. So I ended up using my racer wheel. And a row lock. The racer took the, the vinyl off but left the like the cracks so I took the little row lock and uh, scuffed it up good so it will be going back painted and not vinyl. I got a few things in here I'm going to try to get painted today. It's still a little cool uh, but I got the uh, shifter handle ready and the bumper brackets Got both of those ready to paint, and uh, we're just going to paint these black. We'll probably paint these a uh, flat black, and that's going to be a gloss black. So that's what I'm doing today. Other than I got the truck outside, I'm going to try to do some stuff on it. I did find another cow panel on my parts truck <clears> that I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, fix up the paint. I was looking at this cow panel and I realized I had forgot the windshield washer hickeys and I can't find them. So I was trying to get these off and uh, they're pretty well stuck on there. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and sometime when the weather gets better I'm going to go ahead and paint this. And then we'll just be able to swap it out one day real easy instead of having to take that off and sand it down and paint it and all that. We'll just get this some sandblasted and painted at, at my leisure. Won't be no big deal. Another thing I need to do is uh, uh, get the air conditioning. I got to I got to get the uh, carburetor tuned up, but I need to get the exhaust on first before I do that. Really, that and the air conditioning. I believe is about all I like in here other than hooking the windshield washer hickeys up. And uh, of course the grill, but I'm waiting on the trim pieces because it has to go on the grill panel first. But uh, that turned out pretty well, I like it. And I wanted to get the front bumper on, but then of course I hadn't had my brackets painted. Alright, so I end up finding those little spray nozzles in another box. So we got those installed. Didn't have the correct bolt, uh, screws, so I just found some that would fit. And this thing comes over to this pump. So you got two smalls and a big, and I believe the two smalls goes out to the injector squirty things, and the big one 
uh, is basically that's a pump so it goes to the washer fluid reservoir which I have failed to put on so we'll go see if I can find that and get it on okay so gotta do a little in, uh, a little investigating on this I'm pretty sure this is a pump that when you energize these this circuit it it's like a little diaphragm there that pumps out but the washer fluid reservoir I've got has its own pump I know GM made some with a pump and some without a pump and this has got a uh, weird looking plug one's going one way one's going the other and this one's got two straight plugs now I do have two more wires right here that I'm not sure what they go to um, it's a pink and a white and I also have a pink and white wire that goes to the wiper motor Now this wiper motor came off the parts truck, but it's identical to the one that was on this truck. So, I don't know. I don't know. I guess it's uh, time to go look at some wiring diagrams and see what we got. It's, it may be where this pumps up to that and then that pumps it out. I'm not sure how that works. Maybe somebody out there knows. But let's go see if we can find out. All right, so looking at this Haynes book, 81 through 87, typical V8 engine compartment. And we'll see, this is the main block, wiring block that goes to the motor. This one goes to the front headlights. This one goes to the rear of the of chassis. So coming out of this one at uh, 91, 93, and 92, comes up and goes to the wiper motor. You got three wires going to the uh, motor itself, purple, white, and gray. And we got a black with light blue and a gray that goes to the park switch. And then coming out of this middle section, if we follow this wire right over here, to the washer motor. We see we got a white and we got a pink. White 93, pink 94. So if we follow them back, we'll see that 93 and 94 is right there at the top of that block. All right. So uh, I guess we need to go figure out what we got out there. So let me write these colors down and we'll go take a look. Uh, so here's the drawing I kind of came up with and uh, labeled what was what. So uh, we'll look at the first one's red. Power in, that's that big thick red wire. Then it should skip to and go to a pink, pink and white. I can't really see the tracer on that. But that goes to the oil pressure switch. And then it's going to skip to on the bottom. Then it's going to skip one on the top. But I don't think it skips that one on the top. Looks like, looks like this wire right here. Well, this pink wire is coming out of the top, but I'm not showing anything on the wiring diagram in that section right there that should have that wire. But it is coming out of the top, and these white wires running with it. It comes right under that gray so it's just uh, I think that's more like a ground 
So this was run in with this other white wire right here. So the question is, will I have power here when I turn the wiper switch, the uh, pump switch on, or am I going to have power here since we have both wires? The problem is, I don't know because I don't have anybody here to help me check it. Uh, as you see, it's a pretty big plug, I mean, and it fits perfect. So I would think it would have to go there. I mean, and I think maybe if these goes to this, and I don't have the plug for that. So, and, and this is going to mount somewhere up here on this firewall. I mean, not on the firewall, but on the front. So, yeah, so you can't always go by your wiring diagrams. I have no idea exactly what that is. Oh well, don't know. Guess we'll just have to check it when we we'll get uh, get somebody in here to help me operate the switch while I use the light. So anyway, I think I've rambled long enough in this video. Didn't get a whole lot accomplished. Got a few things done. Got some got some primer sprayed. Did sprayed etch primer on the stuff that was hanging up in here. Uh, weather's turning off. Gonna be kind of rainy tomorrow, then cold. So I'm gonna try to get it painted tomorrow. I'm not really, you know, too concerned about the quality. Although I would like for this, this here, this uh, stick to turn out fairly decent because you'll be able, you'll be able to see it. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, spray some primer surfacer on this where I can kind of sand it down. These others are just going to get some black throw to them. So anyway, thanks for watching, and please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't.